Welcome to another Stan's Awakening video. Today is Friday and I'm going to talk about Jotaro Star Platinum. Now to get Jotaro Star Platinum, you need two, I, two requirements. The first one is going to be Star Platinum itself, which I got right over here. For those who are curious on how to get Star Platinum, you just need to get lucky when you use yourself a normal arrow. Now the next one is going to be... An item and that item is gonna be not Dio Skull. Not Dio Skull, okay? It's Pod Platinum's diary. It is a medical item that you can get. Okay, that you can get. Now, how to get Pod Platinum's diary? It should spawn in your map every hour with one out of 35 chance of it spawning. Let's go ahead and withdraw this item and then use it. So this is what Pot Platinum Diaries looks like. And let's go ahead and use this item here to get Jotaro Star Platinum. There you go. We should get that. There's an animation, blah, blah, blah. And boom, look at this. Blue and black theme. You can't even see his eyes. It's literally just majestical looking. What is this? What is this? So as you can see here, let me just check it one more time if I'm correct. We got Jotaro Star Platinum. And this is what you're going to expect or this is what you're going to get out of it. Now that you know how to get Jotaro Star Platinum, might as well, of course, talk about its stats and its moveset. Now, the stats of this stand is, uh, is destructive... Uh, its destructive power is SS tier, its speed is B tier, and its durability is B tier. And as you can see here, when I'm doing left mouse effing what? What? Are, are you seeing what I'm seeing? 80 damage per punch? Uh, okay. Okay, what? I, I am mind blown right now. I didn't expect this to give so much. What? Okay, as you saw there, it's pretty much the left mouse button, which is called Stored Power Punch. It deals a little knockback and doesn't really deal any stun. But if you look here, there's going to be like aura, whatever that's going to show. And holy moly, 80 damage. I'm, I'm still stunned by that. Next move is going to be the Ura Barrage. To do that, all you need to do is hold E. And as you can see here, it deals 30 damage per punch. But the, the, the Barrage length is a little bit short. But still, 30 damage per punch. Next one is going to be the Heavy Punch. To do the Heavy Punch, just click R. And it should deal 80 damage. Not really, not really surprising. Now that I've seen the left mouse button punches, come on. The le heavy punch ain't even strong the normal punches. Next one is going to be the Iggy throw. Now this one here is a um, range, so you can go a little bit farther away. And pretty much, you throw a Iggy towards your opponent. You click T, and it throws a Iggy. I don't know what an Iggy is, unfortunately. Now let me just look at it one more time and then click T. Holy crap, I can't click T anymore. Never mind, the cooldown is so long. But it should deal 65 damage. Next one's gonna be time stop. And to do time stop, all you need to do is click F. It should stop time in 5 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, you should look at the time here. It would help a lot. So it should be around 5 to 6 seconds. That is pretty much the time stop. It should. Um, once you're the, done with the posing, you should stop time. And whoever was... Now, not really whoever was, but you can pretty much use whatever combo that you want to add. Just so that you can literally kill an opponent in that stop time. Next one, and the last one is time stop movement now what time stop movement does is that it should allow you to move 
when someone else used time stop. Now, I can't really show that to you because nobody else is in the server except for me. But the thing is, if somebody click F, if somebody time stop, you can click H to be able to move from the time stop. Because normally time stop, it only allows the user who used the time stop to move. So other players cannot move in three, five seconds. But with this stand here, it allows you to move in a time stop for three sec for three seconds, which is pretty good because then you can counter attack and stun them, allowing them to not be able to move, or you can make them go a little bit farther away from you so that you can uh, take this as an opportunity to leap, making them uh, making them one making them do to double leap or catch up to you so you can literally just add some combos in it which is really nice it's a better way to counter those who uses time stop to their advantage now that should be literally it unfortunately it doesn't have any more move sets so don't be expecting that just because this is a i don't know this is probably legendary because ppd is hard to get okay so i'd say it's pretty balanced doesn't have that much movesets but it does deal a lot of damage which kills opponents in an instant which is really nice so yes that should be it for this video if you have any question about this then go ahead and ask me any question is available but for now that should be it thanks for watching and bye